But now, as we see that the government has reacted, the government sources have now countered the opposition attack on the compilation of un unparliamentary words in the, gov in the parliament. Government sources tell India today, this list is bought out every year. The list is not a new suggestion, but merely a compilation of words already expunged in the Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha or state legislatures. It also contains a list of words considered as unparliamentary in parliaments of Commonwealth nations. Let me quickly cut across to Supriya joining us for a little more. Supriya, a quick word on uh, this, this new booklet that the Secretariat has put out listing out all those words that now will be considered as unparliamentary. It will not be allowed to be used inside and action will be taken against those who use it. How has the opposition reacted? Well, before the monsoon session, the stormy scene can be witnessed in the park corridors of Delhi. One thing is for sure that Congress as well as the other opposition parties has, uh, is going to attack the government on this very issue also. Uh, what we are hearing from the sources is that uh, all the opposition parties are saying that they will continue using these words and they will actually put in an appeal to the government uh, as well as the Lok Sabha and the Raj Sabha Secretariat that these words should be allowed to say because these are being used in normal practice. Now Rahul Gandhi, Congress's senior leader as well as member of parliament from Vainat has tweeted just now and said said that this is a new dictionary for new India where he's saying that all these words and I quote him uh, is in uh, used in discussion and debates which correctly describe the Prime Minister's handling of the government now banned from being scope, uh, spoken. For example, an unparliamentary sentence will go like this. Jumla Jeevi Tana Shah shed crocodile tears when his lies and incompetence were exposed. Now, there are words which have been expunged, which were uh, being uh, told that these are the un words in the new listing which has come from the Lok Sabha and Rahul Gandhi is, in this tweet of his is referring to that very matter. The Congress party has already said categorically that they will continue using these words. We have seen as to how uh, TMC has also said that uh, these are just normal things to describe for, uh, to use which is used in day-to-day uh, -day affairs to describe and handling of the government. This is what all the entire opposition is saying. One thing is for sure that as far as this matter is concerned, we will be witnessing stormy scenes when monsoon session starts next week onwards. Absolutely. Uh, Supriya, thank you very much for joining us with those words. But of course, the government now responding, government source is saying that this is not new. It's a regular annual affair where a list of words are added to, uh, to the list of unparliamentary words. And this is not the only country, all parts of the world, every country has their lists of approved words that could be used in the parliament and lists of banned words that cannot be used. Now, uh, here, ashamed words like Joomla GV uh, and several other words like corrupt, uh, like hypocrisy, these are words that will now be banned in the parliament as a new list of unparliamentary words, a booklet has now been released by the Secretariat.